Hey everyone, this is Spec Info and thank you so much for clicking on this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can gain an admin rights from a standard user in a Windows. So here I'm going to use an exploit called Local Potato, which is registered under the CV 2023-21746, which help us to read and write the arbitrary files in the system privilege folders like system32 with the loop privilege account. This vulnerability exploits Windows NTLM elimination of privilege. So before we start into an actual demonstration, let me explain you the NTLM authentication. So in Windows, there are two types of user. The one is administrator, which have all the privileges to read, write and execute in any folder. The another is standard user, which have very few uh, permissions. So if any users want to perform any task in Windows, then it, it need to be first authenticated. So if client want to authenticate with any service from the server, then it will first send an hello negotiation message with, with, the, with its username to the server. Now server will read its username and generate one challenge ID, which is a 16 bit number. Okay. Now client has the challenge ID and also client has its own username and password. Now what client will do, client will generate one hash from its password. Now, now the hashing algorithm used here is MD4 if the NTLM version 1 is of using, MD5 hash algorithm if the NTLM version 2 is using. So now client will generate one hash from its password. It will encrypt the challenge ID from this hash and send it back to the server for authentication. Okay, this is in this way this NTLM authentication is performed. The server already have the client username and the password hash which is stored in the domain controller in case of active directory and in same file in case of local user. So this is how the NTLM authentication is performed. Now vulnerability take place when hacker sits between the client and server. Now hacker will set up its own bogus client and NTLM server. Now, whenever the client replies with an hello negotiation message with its username, hackers NTLM server will take that uh, message. It will read the username and it will send it to the genuine server. Now, server will reply. Now, server will reply with an challenge ID to an hackers bogus client. Okay. Now, hackers know the username of the client and also the challenge ID shared by the server. Now, again, the hacker server will share that challenge ID to an client. Now client will client has its password. It will generate the hash and encrypt the challenge ID with that uh, password hash, and it will send it back to the hackers hackers NTLM server. Now hacker have the client name and also the uh, password hash. Now hackers client will send that to the server for authentication. Now, whenever hackers want to perform anything, it will perform with the name of genuine client username and the genuine client password hash. By in intercepting between them, it has collected these two information. And whenever it needs to perform an authentication, it can do by this. Now, what we are going to do in this demonstration is this slide is very important. If you are genuinely interested to learn about this exploit and how we are going to escalate the privilege. First, we will create a DLL. If you don't know about the DLL, please do some research and understand how the DLL actually works. And if you want me to make one specific video on DLL, then please comment me below. So we will generate one DLL and we will write that DLL or say or say and malicious DLL to a system 32 path with the local potato exploit, which we uh, which we discussed before that how we can write the file in system 32, right? Now we will do one RPC call, which is, which is a remote procedure call to an SVC reboot to flashing mode method, which is provided by a store SVC service. Now, whenever we call this service, it will trigger the DLL, the malicious DLL, which we have pasted in the system 32 path. Now we, on, we can only write the file in the system 32 privilege folder by using a local potato exploit but we cannot execute it so what we will do we will just write it the dll file and we will execute it from the genuine genuine executables which is rpc and whenever that dll will be executed the boom we will have the 
privilege access because in that dll we will be having the malicious script which will give us n privilege access so for this we will need n3 files we need first sprint csp dot dll which will be triggered when we call it from the rpc executables we need one rpc client dot exe which will which will ex which will trigger the dll file and we need the local exploit local potato exploit to write the dll file in system 32 right so if this all is clear then we will move to a demonstration part if and if you have any doubt then please re-watch this part because it is what all we going to do it and if you find any any query you can comment me below so now i will open my vmware and here i have one windows machine so i will just turn it on so in this video uh, so in this vm machine i will just do a full screen for you so in this vm machine if i go to the users then i only have one account which is a privilege account which is mine which is the name of joy makwana which is a local account and also an administrator now i will create one more account which will be an standard user so i will name this user as a user i will enter password as 1456 1456 for security question you will need to do this then just type anything you want awesome the user has been created this is a local account and you can see the account type is standard user you can make it as administrator but i will keep it as standard user for demonstration purpose so let logged into that account so i will log into this account and the password we set was one four five six correct now you need to do some initial set setup before you actually get into the windows from that user now first thing you need to do is open the browser if if you don't have the edge browser installed then you need to install it so install that now here i will search for an local potato github repo okay so you will need this uh, github repo and this you need to download it you, either you can do a git clone or you can download this zip folder in this we have all the scripts and exploit and for executing this exploit you will need an visual studio uh, so download this purple icon visual studio Do, don't download the visual studio code, code which has the blue icon and while installing that uh, visual studio just click on the c c and c plus plus uh packages because that is what we needed so we have the fold, uh exploit folder now so we will just ex extract it awesome so we have this file so remember you got all this file so just verify it before you start now what i will do first of all there is two script which we need to change in rpc client we have this store svc.c just open it and here there is an version you need to select now i am using in windows 10 that's why by default it's come with uh, uncommented windows 10 if you're demonstrating or testing with it server or windows 19 server or 11 then you need to uncomment this and comment this uh, line okay so it is perfect for me now in the sprint csp there is one file called main.c so here you need to change this command okay so what it does it just creating process of this now when i open the command prompt when i do net user i can see the two user the one is joy mcconnor which is an administrator and another is default account which is an user now when i do net user user i can see all the permission of that and it is a member of local group uh, and that's it correct so in this command what it's saying is go open the cmd and run this who am i and add that to the who am i all dot txt but we don't need to do this we need to open the cmd so we will keep that command as it is net local group administrators 
and the name of the user which in our case the, the name of standard user is user only right forward slash add so we will close this and we will save this now we will open and developer command prompt which you will only get after installing the visual studio so here uh, the extracted uh, local potato folder from the git repo is in my downloads folder so i will go there users and the username is user and here download so i have just did a change directory if you are not familiar with commands and here i will do a directory to list and directory and here we need to do again change directory into local potato main folder and here you can again do the drl we can see all the folders and files now first we need to go into rpc client there we have this dot sln folder which is a solution file for visual studio so we can compile and build exe from this script so we will do an ms build which is a utility from visual studio visual studio and just type the uh, dot sln file name which is an rpc dot sln enter if there if there is any error then we need to ch uh, change something in scripts uh, if, if the error doesn't come then uh, you are good to go awesome build is succeed and we have zero warning and zero errors now we will go back and we need to make one uh, dll which is in sprint csp oops we forgot the command of cd here we will do again dir and here again we have dot sln file which is a script to build and dll so we'll again do ms build ms build and name of that sln file and enter awesome we didn't get any errors so we are good to go now we have two files now we need three files right as per the pdf we need this print dot dll this exe and local potato exe so the dll will be in this x64 so we will just do cd into x64 then again we have debug folder so we will do debug into that folder and here is the e dll which we need so we'll move this dll to the desktop for our ease one file move so we'll do again cd and go back to the rpc folder Then again, here we have the x64, and that we have debug, and here is the rpc client.exe file. So we will again copy or move this to the desktop folder for our ease. So your user, the name of the user, and desktop. One file move, awesome. And here we have local potato exe. This will also be, we will copy to desktop folder for our ease. Let's do it. Desktop. Awesome. One file copy. So here you can see we have rpc client.exe, local potato.exe, and this DLL. Correct. Now we will go to the desktop. And here we have this three file local potato exe, rpc.exe, and sprint. So now what we have to do is we have created a malicious DLL. Now we need to write the malicious DLL to the system 32 path. Now I will show you the system 32 path. I can read it, but I cannot execute or write anything in that part because I am a standard user. So it will be in C folder in Windows. There will be a system 32 folder. Here it is. And here, when I search for Spring DLL, there is no such. Yeah, there is file. Awesome. So we will replace this file. In in many cases, by default, this file doesn't come to dot the Spring CSP dot DLL. So so when you run that command, which I'm going to show, so it will uh, write it. Or if if there is any DLL present with the same name, then it will overwrite it. So when I so here we can see there is already a DLL. And if I uh, go and try to change anything like if i go and try try to change or rename any file then click on enter then it will ask me an uh, password for an administrator which i don't have as a standard user correct
so we can't do anything in this path but with the help of a local potato exploit we can do it this is how we can do it we need to type the this is the command you need to type the local potato.exe hyphen i for include which we will do in sprint dll in the folder call tag which is hyphen o to overwrite it or or to move or anything we need to copy there so the part of system 32 was c then windows then system 32 and then sprint csp dot d l l correct you just click on enter if you get this error then there is one mistake you need to just remove this c and wow it has been successfully pasted our dll now we can do an privilege escalation awesome now next step we need to do is we have uh created a dll we have write the malicious needed now we need to run an rpc client.exe so it will trigger our sprint.dll so we will just type rpc.exe and just click on enter now uh, the prompt will come that dll hijack triggered okay now what we have is i will show you so now when i open the cmd and i do net user user send then you will get all the permission related to user and here you can see it has a membership of administrator so now whenever you go to system 32 folder or anything we can do the task as a privilege account can do for example if i create one notepad which is in which we write hack by and we save in the system 32 folder then it will allow us to do that why because we have the privilege account permissions and we can do and i will just type this triple a hacked like to save this document folder yes and this time it will not ask me for the permission wow awesome so we have done and exploited this and we have successfully escalated the privilege in our windows now before we wrap up with this video i want to tell you that this exploit will only will only run in windows operating system and the patch for this was released in 2023 10th of january so any version of windows before that it will be vulnerable to this exploit and the updated version will not have this ntlm vulnerability if you found my video informative share with your friends subscribe my channel and don't forget to press on that bell icon to stay updated on my latest video thank you so much and see you in next video bye